Hey you guys and welcome back to Be Mere Light. If you guys are new here, welcome. And for those of you guys that have been here, welcome back. So let's pray and get right into this word. Father God, we just thank you for today. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, Father God. And I just pray, Holy Spirit, that you cleanse our hearts clean, that we may come before you with clean hearts and clean hands. And I pray, Holy Spirit, that you have your way, that you speak to us, that you give us a fresh revelation of your word. And I pray that you touch us in this hour with your love, with your joy, with your peace, Father God. Give us patience today. Humble our hearts, Father God, before you and allow us, Lord, to keep walking in the promises that you've placed in our lives and over our lives. In Jesus' name, we pray and we plead your blood over this call, over this prayer, over this uh, word. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. So I say call because I, between calls and meetings and all this. So yeah, um, so God was showing me this morning about vision, right? You know, he, he talks about um where there is no vision that people perish and so i'm sorry y'all i'm like trying to get my thoughts today because i have i'm on my second cup of coffee so <clears throat> he says where there is no vision the people perish meaning if you don't have vision in the lord if you don't have vision for the project that you've been t thinking about maybe talking about if you don't have vision for that family that you want one day if you don't have vision for marriage one day, if you don't have vision for your studies, if you don't have vision for what wherever you are, wherever the Lord has been giving you a vision for your provision, then you lack knowledge. And I love talking about this actually, because if you think about it, wisdom comes from God. It is a gift to receive the wisdom of the Lord. And so one thing that God was just showing me is you have to have vision to continue to move forward, to continue to walk forward. And you have to not only have vision, but you have to have your identity grounded in God to know who you are as you're walking in your vision, because you can have vision, but not know who you are, not know where you're going, not know what you're made of, not know how well you are at, at the vision that you're being prepared for and prepared in. And so something that God was showing me is to continue to walk forward in the promises of God, but most importantly, in your identity is to have vision of who you are, of who he says you are. And so this is something I'm currently walking out as well, because it's one thing to hear what God says about you, but it's another thing to walk in what he says about you and take that to where you're headed, take that to what he's called for you to do, to your assignments, to your mission. And so I'm sitting here and I'm thinking I have to have vision for what it is he's promised over my life. That vision will unfold through the fruits of the spirit. That vision is going to unfold through the knowledge he gives me to keep walking through the wisdom that he allows me to keep planting good seeds. And if you didn't watch my last video about wisdom, I encourage you to watch it because it blew me away. I was like, Lord, you are just revealing so much. And I want to share this because... To have a vision means you're going somewhere, means you're doing something, means it's much bigger than yourself. It's much bigger than the eye can see. It takes faith to walk in your vision. A lot of, um, a lot of Christians don't talk too much about dreams and destiny when all of it's tied into the calling that God placed over our lives. When you walk in the Lord and for the Lord as a vessel, our destiny is our purpose in life. Our destiny is our vision in life. It is the kingdom of God that dwells within us, walking forth, doing the purpose he's called for us to do. And so I want to encourage someone today that if you've been lacking vision, if you've been lacking, you, you just don't know what you're supposed to be doing, I encourage you to yield, to rest, and to truly take in who God's who God is, but also what God says about you, because remember, we are walking in the character and image of God. So if God is love, be more love. If God is joy, become joyous. He says, do not be anxious for anything. We already go through a lot in today, but look for the joy in today. And I promise you the blessings of God, the favor of God, the knowledge, the wisdom of God will be with you today. And so 
I pray that this really blesses somebody today. It's, it's so encouraging, but so knowledgeable. And, and just know that vision comes from God. It is in your purpose. It is in what you say about yourself, what you say about others. But most importantly, to walk in and vision, to grab onto our vision, to really believe in the vision. So if God, for example, if God promised, you know, you're married and you guys want a child, want children, want a, a child, keep believing in God, keep praying that in that area, God will bring it to pass because he's a promise keeper and we don't lack anything with God. And vision is important because vision is to where you're headed, to where you're going, to the assignments that God has placed for you. So we're not, like I mentioned in, in two videos, I want to say it's two videos prior to this one, um, if not three, where I actually talk about changing seasons and going from glory to glory with God. God shows us his glory through his word, through his promises in our lives as we have vision in him and, and for him, for his kingdom. And so I really pray that this encouraged somebody today. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your on the very things that God has promised in your life. He will bring it to pass. If he spoke it, it's already done. He's pruning us as we prepare to receive it. But your vision is the the bigger picture. The your vision is is what God wants to do in your life. Your vision is where he's taking you. You know, some people are going very very far in this life to touch many souls to glorify God. And I think a lot of times we don't really believe it until we see it happen, but faith is believing it that it's already done, it's already happened. But the vision is also putting in the work for what God has laid out. And in, in, in the work, in the work that you do, it is favor, it is blessings, it is the goodness of God, who he says, we can wake up today with joy because God says, you know, rejoice, rejoice in today. And so I really pray that this word encourage you guys. Um, and, and just know that, um, you know, God is faithful. God is faithful. And even in whatever that you see today and whatever is going on in your life, if it feels as is opposition or like there's distractions, just remember to focus back on God, put your heart, your eyes back on God. He says, set your minds and your hearts on the things of above. Keep yourselves focused on God in this season of your life and all seasons and know that to get to that next place, it's going to take faithfulness in God. It's going to take obedience in God, but most importantly, being diligent, putting in the work towards the vision ahead. He says, uh, write the vision down, make it plain on the tablets. And so I want to encourage you guys, make your vision plain today. What has God spoken in your life? What God, what has God said about you? It could, it could be starting in just your identity, having a vision for who you are, who you want to become. We're not called to stay the same. We're called to go from glory to glory with the Lord starting today for you. In Jesus' name, I am praying for y'all. Love you guys so much. I pray this word was a blessing to many, to you all, and that it was a confirmation to you all. And we'll talk soon.